Welcome back to Ubad's Lab, and today we're going to be making copper carbonate. And before I get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Full Modern Alchemist. He runs a pretty cool chemistry channel on YouTube that I enjoy watching, so you guys probably will as well. So uh, the link to his channel will be down in the description. You guys should definitely go check him out. So copper carbonate is made through the reaction right here, where copper sulfate reacts with sodium bicarbonate and water, and then you get copper carbonate and sodium sulfate and some other compounds. So uh, co the copper sulfate that we're going to be using in this video is actually made in one of my previous videos. So if you're interested in seeing how I made copper sulfate, the link to that video will be in the description. And uh, sodium bicarbonate is just baking soda, so uh, that's going to be pretty easy to get. And uh, copper uh, carbonate is a beautiful light blue salt that is mostly used to make paints. But uh, I'm just going to be storing it and uh, be using it as a precursor to make some other copper complexes, such as uh, copper oxide, most likely, and uh, copper salicylate. So the equipment for this experiment includes some uh, copper sulfate, which you can just buy as a fungicide, or you can make it yourself, and it's uh, pretty easy to make actually. And uh, sodium bicarbonate, which you can just find in your kitchen as baking soda. And some distilled water, since it's gonna be more pure than just tap water. And uh, preferably, this should be warm. All right, I've got my uh, 100 and about 10 milliliters of distilled water and I warmed it up just a little bit and I've got around uh, 7 grams of copper sulfate and around uh, like 5.9 grams of uh, sodium bicarbonate and I'm going to start by uh, adding the copper sulfate into the distilled water and I'm going to mix this around so uh, all of it dissolves There's still some tiny bits at the bottom that I'm trying to dissolve. Alright, I think it should be fine. I'm going to slowly add the sodium bicarbonate because it should uh, cause some fizzing of uh, carbon dioxide gas being released. So uh, I'm going to slowly add it. Yeah, you can see that it starts fizzing right away. Let me mix, I didn't add all of it yet, but I'm just going to mix what I did add. And the solution is starting to turn into a light blue. We can see that that's the uh, copper carbonate being produced. Alright, let's gonna add a, the last bit of sodium bicarbonate. and mix it around a bit hopefully this doesn't overspill yeah we're getting a decent amount of foaming I could have added it a bit slower to prevent this but it's fine since it didn't overspill
and I'm gonna keep on mixing this reaction and uh, let it sit for a bit to let the copper uh, carbonate precipitate and then we're gonna let it filter through some filter paper over here all right so I let the reaction sit for just a few extra minutes and now we can see that it's separated into diff two different layers uh, the top layer is a nice bright blue and the bottom layer is more of a light blue so the top uh, liquid layer is probably some unreacted uh, copper sulfate and some sodium sulfate produced from the reaction and some water and in the bottom we have our copper carbonate and uh, maybe some unreacted uh, sodium bicarbonate so I'm gonna pour off some of the top solution into a cup Move this over here. You can see that we're keeping all of the bottom solution, but pouring off the top solution. Alright. You can do a bit more. And basically it all of our uh, copper carbonate is in here now and I'm gonna put this over here and run it through some filter paper to dry off And I'm going to let this filter out and uh, we'll see how our uh, copper carbonate looks after drying for a bit. Alright, so I finished filtering the solution and I'm going to be transferring it to a different filter paper now to help speed up the drying process. As you can see, it's still very wet, but it has the beautiful copper carbonate, light blue, uh, teal-like color to it, and I can't wait until it uh, completely dries. It seems like I got most of the copper carbonate off of the filter paper. And I'm going to let it dry on this filter paper now. Alright, it's pretty much dry now. So I'm going to transfer it to one more filter paper to completely dry. And then I'll finally put it into my container for storage. And let me guys give you a quick look of the copper carbonate. It's going to put this all onto the other filter paper. Wow, that's nice. You can really see why this is used for paint. The texture is very soft and it has a beautiful color as well.
Well, I don't want to waste any of this, so scrape this all off. All right. Don't forget to join my Discord because it's a pretty fun, tight-knit community and we discuss some of the topics that I cover in my videos. Uh, the link to that will be down in the description. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.